All right, I want to talk about an important bulletin because I know uh, most of you out there are new to the business, so you don't know that this is a violation. And this is one that is a questionable one that comes up all the time. Um, I heard two of you guys talking out in the hallway, and you cannot, well, okay, Bolton 158. The prohibition on the use of goods and services as gifts to induce title insurance business. All right? Now, I don't know this kind of, you can argue this both ways, right? David, I heard you say something while we were on break about, you know, how companies induce consumers to buy things by giving them a lower price or offering them discounts or, you know, cell phones are getting really good at this. Buy a, buy our cell phone use and get an iPad. All right. That would be incentivizing that client to use them. So can, companies do this all the time. We cannot do this. This is a violation of the RESPA laws, the Real Estate Settlement Procedure Act. You cannot induce means monetarily or anything goods and services an agent to use your company. The theory is under my belief that if you were to induce me, um, let's say Chicago title and I'm just picking them out because I use them, decides to give me tickets to a Pacers game or a Colts game so that I use Chicago title. The theory is by RESPA, and I don't know if it's true or not, so take this for what it's worth, is that Chicago title would then have to increase their cost so that they can make the same bottom line and charge that higher price to the consumer, and therefore, actually, the consumer's paying for my tickets to the Colts game or the Pacers game or the 500 since we live here in Indianapolis without them really knowing it. So that's RESPA's concern. This bulletin 158 is designed to prohibit title companies from paying, finger quotes, underlying, real estate brokers, mortgage brokers, builders, or other settlement service providers as defined by RESPA to secure their title insurance business. All right. Now, there's an ugly word that you can use here. I'm going to say it because you'll probably get what I mean. You can't bribe them. All right. You cannot bribe a company, a real estate brokerage to use your title company by saying, I'll give you a kickback or, hey, I've got some tickets to the Pacers game. You know, since you're a good customer, I'm going to give them to you. That is inducing the client to use you. And in that case, the client is the real estate company, all right? Uh, they have identified the following practices which can be considered a pretense for inducement. Printing or paying for the printing, the distribution of bulletins, flyers, postcards, labels uh, for the settlement service providers. It used to be years ago that a title company could give you a database list of names and addresses of all the ones they closed, and we would use those to mail out flyers uh, if they wanted to move, hey, here, and they would use the database from the title company. Can't do that. The title company would use to pay for, like, the postcard. We would pay for the postage. And on the postcard, it would be co-branded, -co you know, the modeling group and Chicago title. Um, and they would pay some, we would pay some, and we would mail it out. Can't do that. Uh, furnishing or paying for the furnishing of office. You know, you can't have a satellite title insurance company person sit in your office and then pay you part of the rent. Providing or paying for mobile telephone minutes, including text messages. Uh, providing brokers uh, simulated panoramic home or property tours. Now that would be drones. All right. Providing or paying for gas cards. Basically, what you can read into this is providing or paying anything, paying for food or beverages in an event designed to promote the listing of the broker so they can't bring food into my open house. Uh, advertising costs to advertise or promote the listings of a real estate broker. Once again, we used to co-op with title companies. The Modulin Group and Chicago Title presents this house. They would pay for some of it. 
uh, paying settlement service providers to fill out processing forms. <laughs> this is a rule that, because you, you know, once they create a rule, right? Any attorneys out here and practicing attorneys, great. None? Good. I was going to slow down for you there for a minute. Um, because anytime an attorney writes a law, there's another attorney that can write another law that will allow do it. What they started doing was asking the real estate agent to fill out a form and take some information from the client. And then they were saying, oh, well, you're working for us. And I used the finger quotes for you online. Oh, you're working. So it's not a inducement. We're paying you. Well, they now said you can't even do that. You can't pay a, a broker money for filling out a processing form and calling it, oh, they work for us. No, that's still can't pay continuing ed fees. They used to do that. Uh, paying for the cost of tickets to sporting events. These are all things that can happen. Now, I heard you guys talking and I don't, I'm not going to point you out or anything. Or, and I know I heard one of you say, why can't you pay a broker for leads? This is exactly what we're talking about. You can't do that. All right. Sorry. Sore throat. Talking too much today. Too long of a class. It would really be nice if that could happen. And I'm not so sure that RESPA's right in the raising of their fees. Now, I guess if every title company raised their fees because one started paying, then they all, then yes, it would artificially. But I would think that if one title company raised their fees to cover uh, a finder's fee, let's say, they would be overpriced and no one would use them and they would fall back down. But I guess what RESP is afraid of, of is one company does that, raises the prices, then all of a sudden the other companies would raise their price to match the other person. And then before you know it, it would be artificially inflated based upon money they were paying out to gain leads. And ultimately, once again, the customer is paying for that. So that's, that's exactly why this is. So you can't induce someone to give you leads. You, they just have to use Chicago title because you think they're the best. They're the most efficient. Uh, they get things done. They help you out. Uh, and, and, you know, move your closing if you need to move to a different location or pro provide a mobile closer or anything like that. But you can't do it with the premise of gaining leads. All right. 